Hey Berries, it's me, Kelsey, or Royal underscore Berry, and today I'm going to be doing the do's and don'ts of trading for Halos in Roblox Royal. Hi! Because I know a lot of you have problems getting Halos, and this way I got all of my Halos, which I have five of. Do's. The first two is just be nice. If you're nice, people will most likely trade you because I wouldn't personally trade somebody who's very mean because they clearly just want stuff that I want and I'm just gonna bark to other people's faces and overall aren't nice people. Grind diamonds. The reason why I put this is because Grinding diamonds is the way I got every single halo of mine Well in a row Because I used to trade like my shadow emperor stuff and stuff But as I realized later on in life It was a bad idea, but as you can see there I have five halos I'm not lying. I have five and I'm actually planning on getting all of them so if you have any halos I can offer for, please comment down below. I will farm diamonds like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> and overall, just grind diamonds. Get doubles of limited items. These two kind of tie in together because most people don't just want diamonds. So try to get duplicates of items so you can trade diamonds and limited accessories like large chain bow skirt, teddy zilla, giant teddy bear, and uh, many others. If you have a low tier halo or a high tier halo or mid tier, any halo, do halo for halo or halo for halos. That's also a good idea. Because if you do halo for halo, you can go from having a very low tier halo or a halo not high in demand for a halo that's very high in demand and rare or rare. But those are just my personal tips. Next is to get Twitter or any other type of social media. I would consider this a good tip because most people trade there. No, you do not have to, but it's just recommended so that you have better luck in getting halos. At least, that's what most, most people say, because I actually just went, jumped, server hopped from, halo, from server to server actually to get every single halo that I own. Next is to trade mostly trade with your friends i'm not saying to use your friends that's just wrong i'm not saying that. don't get it the wrong way i'm not just saying to use your friends but i actually got my lucky halo 2019 halo from a friend of mine and they were probably most your friends may be very nice and wouldn't want to hurt your feelings <laughs> um but but most of them would accept because they're a friend and they don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. Next is to dress what people would call as poor. Because I find when I dress very poor, people tend to trade one, trade me more. Two, don't ask me for my stuff, which kind of gets a bit annoying. Not gonna lie, even though I do it too, but <laughs> you know. I don't know what I'm trying to say, <laughs> but basically just kind of dress poor because I get the best trades when I'm acting dressing poor. Um, I don't know why. Next is to do the paperclip challenge. The paperclip challenge is a really good way to get stuff that are high in demand, like Shadow Empress Boots, Parasol, Mermaid Royalty. I actually got the Mermaid Royalty in the trading hub from the paper clip challenge that was a really good find not gonna lie can't even lie i need to stop saying not gonna lie can't even lie but it's okay and so basically 
I just did that a lot of times and most of the times I didn't get good stuff but you can get really good stuff from what I've seen people got Valentine's Day Halo you can probably get your dream Halo from that if your dream Halo is a kind of a low tier Halo you can say next is to enter giveaways for either high in demand items Halos or diamonds and speaking of giveaways, when I reach 100 subscribers, I am doing a giveaway. Check out that video link in the description box down below. But that's a good way of getting stuff. Mostly luck though. So <laughs> with that one, make tweets or community posts. Community posts are if, only if you can on YouTube. You have to have a thousand subscribers, I believe. And you know. Tweets are free, you don't, not free, like, you don't have to have, like, requirements, you just need Twitter. Next is join Roblox groups or Discord groups. So there's these groups that I was actually in for a little while, but then I just, like, left the group just because I got too many notifications on my screen and it got so annoying and I didn't know how to deal with it. But yeah, that's how you can do it, <laughs> which is actually pretty cool, honestly. Don'ts. The don'ts are don't scam anyone. Scamming is really bad and will give you a really bad reputation because people will tell on to the friends and spread awareness of their scamming or with your username or your YouTube or whatever. So just don't scam. Do not, do not cross trade because cross trading can get you banned from Royal High, another game that you're cross trading with, or Roblox itself, which is the worst one ever. But it's for your own safety, and I'm telling you, do not cross trade. And if you do happen to cross trade in the past and you got scammed, that is not the dev's fault. It was your fault for cross-training when it's a rule not to cross-trade. So that was on you. Next is don't frame somebody. Say you got a fair trade and you want somebody to look bad. Do not say that you they scammed you because then that is just framing and will also get you a bad reputation, especially as a person recorded the whole entire trade and you have no proof that they scammed you so it's kind of bad but it's okay that one is not too bad because most of the time people figure it out in the first place don't don't trust trade trust trading is really bad because you can easily get scammed i've cross traded i was guilt tripped and <laughs> That was a really bad mistake, but as again, I did not contact a dev because I knew it was my fault for doing that, so I kind of just left it alone. Next is don't pretend to have something for attention. People do this so often. Do not say you have Halloween 2019 Halo on Twitter. Use somebody else's picture and frame some. On, not frame. Like lie to people because that's really bad also next is to not brag because bragging is something a lot of people do when they have a halo or something and it can give you a bad reputation and make you come up as a bad braggy person who just like states stuff too much don't have a scam as a back if somebody scams and they have proof do not say oh they didn't scam because that can sometimes be wrong and people may think that you have a scammer with a second account or something like that do not and i do i do mean do not be salty if somebody declines your offer for a halo a lot of people do this and it's really bad and makes you have a bad impression of yourself and just overall don't do that don't beg to f don't beg for free items because that's also 
really mean and something I do not like when somebody asks for stuff. I like it when people say, hey, can I offer for that? With blah, 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 for blah, 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 blah. I like it when people say that. And that is all for today's video. I hope you berries enjoyed it. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you never miss a video whenever I post. Also, thank you so, so, so much for 24 berries. That's so epic. Oh my gosh. And, mm, I can't even explain how excited and happy I am. I can't wait for us to go bigger. But <laughs> anyways, guys, I... Anyways, berries. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment, and comment, and all I just said that. But I love y'all. Stay safe. Bye, berries. Mwah.